A special two digit number is what? Is that when the sum of its digit is added to the product of its digit, the result is equal to the number itself. Like take here an example, 59. When you add the digit of 59 that is 5 plus 9, you get 14. And when you multiply the digits, you get 5 into 9, 45. And when you add the product and the sum, you get 59 itself. So that is what 59 is a kind of special number. Hello everyone and welcome back to Knowledge Circle. Today we will see a program based on special two digit number. So let's start. Let's see the code. First of all, we will copy some few lines from the old programs and we'll copy and we will paste to the new program and we will declare the variables as per the requirement. We will change the class name to we'll write here the class name SP because we are making a special number. So let's give the relevant class name. Okay. Now we will declare some variables here. Okay. We need many variables here such as we need for a number that we will accept from user. We need a variable for the product. We need a variable for the sum. Okay. So we'll declare DS here that will be zero and for number again one D for digit S will be the initial value of S will be zero. Okay. And one for storing the multiplication that is product that also we will declare M equal to one. Okay. Then after NO for the number because when we run the loop and when we specify a condition after the loop what happens the value of number gets decrease and it gets changed so that we will store in a temporary variable that we always do. Okay. Now let's give the message properly enter a number. We'll give a message here enter a number and after getting the number what we are going to do we will store it in a variable. So let's write the name of the variable here. Okay. And we will write it n. Next line is what? We will store this n that is accepted by that is accepted from user by us and we will store that number n into no. Okay. Now let's run a loop. We will run a while loop till the value of no is greater than zero. Okay. And what we are going to do here, we do always we have to calculate the digits. We have to find out the digit and as we get the digit, we will add it and we will multiply it also at the same time. So what we are going to do, we will write here s equal to s plus no module 10 or we can directly write what s plus equal to shorthand operator we can use. Okay, same process we will do for multiplication. What it will be m plus equal to no module 10. It means that the digit that we will receive from the modulation process that will be directly multiplied with m and again it will be stored back into the m and the next step will be the division of the number. Every time we have to divide the number by 10 and we have to store back into the no variable. In this way what we will get in this way all the digits of the particular number will be added and their product will be stored and when we come out of the loop we get the sum and product. Now it's time to check whether the sum and product the sum of the sum and product is equal to the number itself or not. If it is equal when s plus m is equal to n then it means the number is a special number. Otherwise if the sum of the sum and product is not equal to the number itself then the number is not a special number. So if this condition is true we will give a message that let's write here n then after we will give a space and we will put concatenation operator and we will write in double quotes the message that is a special number. Okay. Then after what we are going to do, we will close this. We will use else and in else also we will write the message and what we have to do extra here. We have to add only not same process the variable name concatenation space again concatenation and in double inverted comma the message has to be written. So same we will do with else also. Okay. So let's write the else portion that is n plus concatenation plus is not a special number. Okay. So if the condition will be false this message will be given. Let's close the main function. Let's close the class. Let's go to file and save option and let's give a name sp.java. Save as type, it will be all files 
and let's click on the save button. In this way we save the program. It's time to compile the program. Let's open F drive, F colon, let's type here CD, Java programs, the name of the folder where we have kept the program. Okay, after that we will press enter button. We are inside that folder. Let's write here Java C sp.java to compile the program. Okay, now the program is compiled. Let's execute it. Java space the name of the program sp. Enter. The program is successfully executed. Now the message comes in front of us that enter the number. Let's enter the number 59. Let's see. Okay, when we enter 59 what we get message we get that it is a special number. You will see that it's a special number. Let's give another value. Let's see. Okay. When we give another number, let's give here another number 64. Let's see. It's not a special number. Like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification.